Thanksgiving, everyone. So in honor of the holiday, I wanted to put together a quick vlog just to express how thankful I am for certain movies this year. One, because I enjoyed them, and two, because I think they'll have a positive effect on the industry. So first up, I've got Wonder Woman. I appreciate this one more and more every time I watch it. It is a ton of fun, the humor is spot on, there are some incredible action sequences, and I find Wonder Woman's whole outlook on mankind, good versus evil, and her role in that battle incredibly inspiring. There's also what this movie does for the current DC film franchise. No matter how you feel about the previous films, Wonder Woman proves there is so much potential here, and when things come together the right way, these characters in the cinematic universe they're building can be something truly special. And talk about a big boost for female filmmakers, Wonder Woman is the top grossing superhero origin movie at the box office. Gal Gadot commanded the screen flawlessly. Patty Jenkins earns her place on the same level as male filmmakers when it comes to her Wonder Woman 2 payday. These are game-changing achievements that will no doubt continue to pave the way towards gender equality in the industry. I am proud, I'm excited, and so thankful we got this movie this year. Next up, I'm looking at Blumhouse. As you well know, I'm a big horror fan, and what Blumhouse is doing and did for the genre this year is a big deal. They take risks on original ideas, support up-and-coming filmmakers, Makers, and they make the very most of smaller budgets. I'm not going to say I love every film they've ever churned out, but they do have a pretty good track record, especially this year. Look at one of their more recent releases, Happy Death Day. It's from a filmmaker who I think deserves more credit than he gets, Christopher Landon. It is a clever story, original, and it has so much style, and it's a lot of fun. Then there's Split, which turned Unbreakable into a film franchise all of a sudden 17 years after the first film's release. And then, of course, there's Get Out. I know it might be a long shot for this one to get an Academy Award nomination, but boy, do I want to see it happen. A feature directorial debut from Jordan Peele. It's chilling, entertaining, and extremely engaging, but also has something important to say. And it made over $250 million worldwide on a $4.5 million production budget. Blumhouse really is making waves in so many important ways. I'm so happy they're growing, dominating, and just can't wait to see what they bring to the screen in 2018. Now, my last thing is more of an idea, but I'm gonna highlight it using two movies. Call Me By Your Name and Professor Marston and The Wonder Woman. First off, they're both great films, and I'm really disappointed more people didn't make it out to see Professor Marston. In case you did miss out on that one, it tells the story of William Moulton Marston, the man who created Wonder Woman, and that story is directly tied to his relationship with his wife Elizabeth and also Olive, a teaching assistant who winds up in a romantic relationship with both Marstons. It is a high-quality film all around, but one of my favorite things that the experience left me with was the idea of embracing what you love. And the same is true of Call Me By Your Name. That one focuses on a 17-year-old played by Timothy Chalamet who falls for an American student played by Army Hammer. The film really gives you the feeling that you're right there with them all summer as their relationship blossoms. And then in the end, you get to take something really special from that experience with you. It's beautiful, it's uplifting, and extremely moving. There is a good deal of negativity, stress, and discrimination out in the real world right now, so I am just so thankful to have had the opportunity to step into someone else's reality like this, especially when their stories come with such powerful celebrations of love and acceptance. So there it is, three things I am thankful for in the film industry this year. Do share what you're thankful for in the comments section below. I would really love to hear about it. And a very special Thanksgiving Day thank you to everyone watching this video and anything I post on the channel. I love what I do so, so much and wouldn't be able to do it without your support. So really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Have a very happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'll see you soon.